right, guys, welcome to the 2023 NFBA, the National Frame Builders Conference. This is everything about post frame structure. So we're going to take you into the conference. We're going to go around, see some of the products and exhibits they have. We'll share uh, some of that stuff with you. So let's go ahead and get in there. So what we've got here is a permanent anchor system. This goes on the truss while the truss is still on the ground. Um, you can even hook your rope to it at that point, send everything up. And this thing is on there for the life of the building. Um, attaches to the truss. Uh, your purlin goes goes up inside of it. We offer these for all different building types, um, whether you're doing flat purlins, um, re-roofs, uh, new construction, you name it. Sheeting goes in there, ridge cap goes over. This is a, uh, a benefit to the builder while you're building, all the way up to the last piece of ridge cap is on. And then for the homeowner, solar installs, any roof maintenance down the road. Uh, it's something we're really excited about. Yeah, 10% virgin material. So we are we are the, the, the bag or the hammer. Well, all of this. So, <laughs> so, I mean, so this, you can tell that's quality. So we are, we are from located from Amish country in Ohio. Okay. We're a we're a part of Weaver Leather. All of our bags are handmade in our community in our facility there. We make a framer, a trimmer, a roofer, an electrician bag. So the electrician bag has like a lot of different pockets. Um, this is a framer bag. We make the framer bag in what we call our. That's just a brand new item, just being manufactured this week. That's, 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 that's just brand new. So it's I don't, it ain't even on our website yet. Um, this is what we call our Super Leather Series. Okay. The Super Leather Series has a lining on the inside. The outside is made with harness leather. Okay. We do perforated pockets to get moisture to drain out. Um, the framer bag has a place in the front for your nail, your pencil, your knife, some extra tools, your speed, your your tape measure. Yeah. Obviously, put your hammer there. On the left side, you have a place for your speed square. Yeah. Driver bits, and it's a veg tan leather, so with the pockets are tight now, you force your bits in there, then they'll always have a memory. They'll stay there. Sure. Okay. You got extra pockets on the inside for some more tools, two pockets on the outside. You can put a hammer up here if you want. This is a new product we just came out with a couple weeks ago, or a couple months ago, the water bladder camelback. Yeah suspenders we also make what we call our comfort suspenders this is what i wear so i wear that bag and this suspender kit this is what we call our comfort suspenders i feel like this is what you see on uh, when i used to horse ride all the time this it's is harness the kind of leather, leather right there it's man. Harness, that's nice. yeah. this is harness leather we, i mean this is what we do is we sell leather i mean that's quality that's you won't that's the best leather you can get yeah. if you're riding horse we make we make thousands of reins for our equine division out of harness this leather right here yeah. So if you do horses, that's what made out of that there. Um, so comfort, we have air flex material on the bottom of these suspenders. Yeah. Suspenders made by guys that wear suspenders every day, so they so know they're how to make be, them comfortable. I can get them short enough for me? Seems like you a, can. Yeah. So if you put this on, you can, you can shorten this up all the way up to here. You can make it like this here. Yeah. Um, we have the loop, they come with loops for your leather belts. Our poly belts have built-in suspender holders in them. This here is to hold them together. These are also designed like a good Amish thing. You can put a pencil in here if you want to, and you don't have to go on to it. So then we have, if you come back here, this is our, this is the same belt in a black poly. You can get, you can get that same belt in a black poly, a blue poly, or in this leather here that's not lined. So this is, that would be this bag right here. This is the same layout in a different leather, so it's not quite as heavy. It, does, it doesn't have that lining on the inside. Oh, sure. And it doesn't have the harness leather. This is water buffalo, mm -hmm. so it's it's still a high quality leather, still limited lifetime warranty. But that's the that's the best leather you can get. So what's the um, what's the price point on all this? That bag retails for three forty five. Okay. Um, this one here retails for three oh five. The poly bag. 314. Um, this is so. This is a framer bag. This is a framer bag. This is our roofer bag. Called our roofer bag, and you can get it in that leather, that leather, or the blue or the black. So it has a side pocket for a shears. It has a front pocket for a cat's paw or a bar. 
place for your pencil and your knife on the inside. Extra tools on the side here. Two pockets on both sides for, here's my tool. Two pockets on both sides for your screws and nails. Yeah. Um, all of our poly bags are velcroed onto the belt. So if you like your bags a little further forward or a little further back, you can put them where you want them sure. and they'll stay in place. Yeah. Um, again, all of our bags have a limited lifetime warranty, so they don't, they won't, uh, we stand behind them. If there's ever any issues with rivets or stitching, we stand behind them. We also have this insert that we made so if you're doing that, like extra metal work and you want to line it, this, this here bag will just pop right into your pocket. You bend the corners in, it just drops in. And when you're done doing your metal work, you don't need it anymore. Just grab it and it'll just pop out. All right, I'm and sold. Lay it back on the truck. So, where have you been all my life? <laughs> in Iowa, south, southeast Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll we'll straight up drill the whole area. Then when you want to set the ball. So where's the drilling point on that? Or it's just the uh, actual rivet itself? The actual rivet itself. So it's a soft drilling rivet so you don't have to have your oh, yeah. double ends or eighth inch or anything like that. So That's slick. Yeah. <laughs> Back it out, yeah. And if you if you back it out, you'd see that the wash would still be sure. in, intact. And so it goes in really quick, as you can see with the install, because it's not drilling anything; it's piercing it and going right through. Yeah. Even when you drill it, if you notice here, we did some intentionally that's sure. on the rib here to show you that this you still have a seal intact with this special washer. Well, Yeah, so there's stainless uh, rivets every so often that you know, it's poured together. Our hammers go from $65 for our, cheap, our cheapest model of $65 up to our Pro Plus series right here is $259.95. The thing about this hammer right here, our hammer will drive a nail and pull a nail just as good as a Stiletto or Martinez or anybody else in the market. Nobody else can do this. That's a 90 degree angle. All the way across 2 by 12. If I mark this right here, that's an inch and a half wide. So if I'm sliding over, I mark that. That's my stud pocket for my layout. This is 16 inches end to end. So if I buck that up against that line and mark this, there's my 16 inch center mark. To use your angle cuts, pivot off your claw. 35 degree angle, there's 35 degrees. You've got a quick reference stick rule right here off of this shoulder out to five inches. So if I want a two and a quarter inch rip real quick without pulling my tape measure out, there's two and a quarter inches. Flip it over, you've got angle cuts again on the back, common rafter cuts for cutting trusses. So if I just pivot it the other way, I need a 612 pitch on my truss tails, there's my 612 pitch. This, this little cast line right here at the top of our rubber handle, that's a quick reference 45, so if I bought that up against there just for a quick 45 cut, that's 45 degrees. All of our hammers have the magnetic nail starter in them for up to a duplex headed nail. We've got the hexagon shaped head, comes in smooth or milled face. That is for getting up against another wall or anything like that to get another nail in. You've got a little more surface area than a round headed hammer would have, or for doing a toenail, you can use that corner right there to drive down and you're not marring up the surface of your board quite as much. We've got an anti-ring claw so this thing doesn't sound like a tuning fork when you're driving into something and hurting your ears. And then 13 millimeter or half inch six point socket for changing your circular saw blades. Also right here in the bottom is a through hole for tethering purposes for guys that are up on a scaffolding or up on a high rise they have to tether their hammer. They can do it just like this. 16 ounces, 16 inches end to end. This is 14 ounces, 14 and a half inches. 14 and a half is your center clear spacing of your 16 inch frame block. Come in both smooth or milled face hammers. That's steel. Kind of works the same as our hammer. That's 90 degrees. If you pivot that off the claw, that first casting line right here is a 45 degree angle because your two most common cuts are a 90 and a 45. You've got four points of pull. You've got this little pry bar right here to get up underneath like trim nails. You've got a teardrop puller right here for hooking on and rolling it out. Also, there's your 13 millimeter wrench for changing your saw blade again. 
you've got a side nail puller right here for getting on a nail and pulling it all the way out or this claw where you can grab a hammer if you've got a nail embedded and drive it down in there get it out where you can hook your side nail puller on and get it out plus just like our hammers magnetic nail starter or you can turn that nail sideways and get up in a little corner and drive it in with your hammer all you need is the long point and the short point. Yep. And down there. Get to the top. Swing it down. And it takes time to add a belt. All right, guys, that was just a little quick snippet of what happened here. The NFBA, as you can see right here behind me, next year is in Des Moines. So that's about 30 minutes from where we are. So make sure you guys uh, plan to attend that. We will be there. Most likely we'll have a booth. And we're also going to try to plan a, a open house in our own home. So as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we'll catch you on the next video.